So I'd have to say this, the one thing I know about working from Aquascape, even when I started back in 95, there's never ever a dull moment. Every second, Greg is thinking of something new and trying to keep up with that guy can be a daunting task in itself, but I love it because my job never ever gets boring. And so he's got this vision for this training area. We call it the sandbox and it served us well in the past, but the new vision is gonna be incredible. Let me show you the old sandbox, just so you can kind of get an idea of what I'm talking about. So you can see, you know, this is a leftover facade of a house we built for the flower show. And we use this area for practicing on building ponds, different fountainscapes. We can do poundless waterfalls, all that kind of stuff. We'll pull these things out, build a, you know, a, a big long stream. It allows not only our crew to continuously practice over the winter, but contractors come in. Greg's got a new vision for a much bigger training area. And I've got all kinds of ideas for it. So let's go see Greg and Ed and uh, see if they got anything to contribute to this. <laughs> <laughs> See if those guys have anything to contribute to this, which I'm sure they do, right? Good thing about working with uh, creative people is that uh, you can come up with some pretty awesome stuff. The bad thing about working with creative people sometimes costs a lot of money. Let's go see them. Well, that was interesting, Greg. What do you have to say? <laughs> <laughs> I say that we have a lot of work to do, but what's new? And uh, it's so funny, Ed, how we always talk about how we can't wait till the off season. The off season goes by like this because of projects like this. So all of this area right here is all going to be cleared of, you know, the aquatic plant soil and the rocks and gravel and old racking and everything else in this entire area all the way to half a bay over here. So what is this, 35 feet wide? 37 feet wide and 40 feet long. All of this is gonna be the new Sandbox Studio. So take us away, Brian. That's more than 50% bigger than yes. our current Sandbox <laughs> over there, which we were able to get four projects in at a time. Now we're gonna be able to create berms and streams and bridges and all kinds of awesome stuff. I think what I'm personally most excited about is, you know how passionate I was about the Flower Garden Show? Yeah. And how much I love kind of creating and redesigning different things and things that customers would never ever let us do, you know, yep. rain chains and bowls hanging from stuff all over the place. Now we basically have a permanent um, flower and garden show booth that we can do all the time, plus then collaborate with all the with artists all of the year, past artists of the year, and create unbelievable stuff. So this winter is going to basically be doing the flower and garden show all winter long. Ed, what are some of the things on your list of that we have to uh, procure for the artists to use? <laughs> some. <laughs> the, the, the list is long, but if we take away building an entire house inside of here, so take that off here. So, so right up to here on the edge, there's going to be a deck and then a two-level two house that goes in right here. Exactly, with a little balcony hanging off or kind of above views and all that stuff. But we have to find the right soil mixture for here. So instead of doing all sand, we want to do a, a, a sand clay soil mixture look a little bit better but it will also kind of hold ledges and structure a little and we've got to get uh, some trees so we have to figure out either uh, old christmas trees or whatever so we can plant stuff up we're talking about doing a big fake tree over here by that column over there yeah to, to hide this column uh, to kind of have some little background uh, views uh, we got driftwood we have three different types of rock we're looking at aqua blues moss rock as well as granite trying to figure out how we're going to mulch stuff all the different patio surfaces connecting up with unilock which we've had an incredible relationship for decades mm -hmm. so try to hook up with them so we have lots of different paving options out here to, to kind of finish everything off artificial turf talking about a man cave she shed kids playhouse something being built over in the back over here which actually could be morphed into all three of those depending upon what the designs are actually going to be uh, we're looking at different advertising opportunities universal rock for fake trees huge giant boulders which they do some really cool stuff we have a big led panel going over on the back side that we could change things <laughs> is that half the I know. <laughs> <laughs> and we got to build a whole wall on that one side we got to find staging areas we got to bring in power we have to get water i mean this is a major undertaking so happy off season awesome. well like <laughs> it's September. <laughs> this has to be done by Thanksgiving. Oh my, that's not it. No. <laughs> so oh, behind, it's happening. Well, it's happening. Have, plus all the other collaborations <laughs> and builds and everything else. Well, and yesterday I'm in a meeting all day long, all day, <laughs> about restructuring the academy oh. and turning it um, virtual. <laughs> right. And all the footage that needs to be filmed for that. <laughs> and How to burn the candle at both ends. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Ow. 
Okay. <laughs> I got this. You guys keep working on it and figure out all the details. So it's interesting because we had our first ever virtual pandemonium, which we've been doing for 22 years. And this pandemonium, people from all over the world called in, and it kind of inspired me to what we could do digitally. And I thought about the sandbox that we have used for a couple of years now for the Aquascape Hands On Academy, where people came in to Aqualand from all over. They would work with us and get trained in how to do fountainscapes, how to do pondless waterfalls, how how to do ponds and it was a winter training for our guys too so that they would uh, stay sharp and, and the new guys would get trained before they actually started building. When I saw the success of our digital pandemonium with all of our sessions and everything else on there, I thought about creating a sandbox studio. So it's perfectly lit, it's got a re really nice LED backdrop, you know the facade of the home that we had you know is going to be much bigger. All of this idea was and then I thought how could we really inspire people with the creativity that can be done in a very similar size backyard, 35, 45 foot wide by 30, 45 foot long. And I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to get the Aquascape Artists of the Year, all of the guys that I've worked with for years and years and years, to let them come from all over and uh, really showcase their skills as artists and what can be done in a short space, which is why we gotta get all the materials you know, aligned for them before and for the winter time. So here's the uh, current hands-on training. You can see our facade of our house is not nearly as dramatic as it's going to be. Uh, that was just used at a, a home show that we did once. But you know, you can see the aqua basins in there. This is from just basically the last training with the different fountains that we used. So instead of having this box, it's actually going to be 25% bigger going out to half of the next bay. But we're going to move it all the way to the back corner because this is a pretty busy area of Aquascape with our drive-in uh, bay for people with customer pickups and everything else here. So basically what you're gonna see is every Aquascape Artist of the Year traveling into Chicago with their teams and working directly with Aquascape Construction Crew in two days to create a total and unique work of art custom creation that's gonna be featured not only on the Team Aquascape channel, not only on our Facebook pages, our Instagram pages, but also on the Artist of the Year pages because we wanna inspire more people to live the Aquascape lifestyle. This winter is gonna be busy. The waterfall width did you say it was close to 45 feet wide? That's what I said, and then I corrected myself. I was wrong. We've got about 30 feet. Oh my God. I do not like Zoom meetings, but that was kind of a good one. It's a project that started almost three years ago, and these commercial projects for me are like nails on a chalkboard because they never happen fast. When I sit down with a homeowner, I meet with them, we discuss a plan, a design, deposit check, and let's get going, right? These things take three years or sometimes longer. And so this is a project that uh, now they're really excited about and they're thinking they wanna start in the spring. Budget is always a concern, especially when it's for a commercial city area, but uh, we'll see what happens. Now I have to go to my meeting about the sandbox. Two hours later. So that was the best meeting ever. Hold on, I'll actually introduce you to the guys before they go, what I love. First, I know some of these guys from way back when. It's just, uh, we ran ran into each other through Facebook, you know, and I saw an ad they were doing, contacted them. They came out, they gave us an estimate. This is the team that's possibly gonna make Greg's dreams come true. We called it the adult, uh, what do we call the Pond Builders sandbox or playground or something yeah. over there. So these guys are gonna help us put all that together and uh, it should be pretty awesome. The hardest thing's gonna be getting it together by Thanksgiving. So they all, when I said Thanksgiving, they all kind of gave me this like, uh, are you kidding? But uh, if we can get uh, measurements and estimates out by the end of the week, then we can start ordering material. And if we can start sometime November 1st, they think we can get it all put together. So it'll be really cool to get all that put together and, and finished. I can't wait to start using that thing this winter all right i hold in my hands greg's baby i'm really calling it greg's baby but it seems like it's becoming more of my baby because i feel like i'm putting in a little bit more legwork into it but these are the plans for the new sandbox house vignette and i want to get greg's opinion on it and he happens to be here and i think i caught him for maybe 10 minutes before you gotta get on a plane <laughs> yeah. right no i'm not flying out today i'm going to catch turtles oh even better greg these are the plans oh 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 Oh, oh, finally, <laughs> the sandbox studio. This is just the vignette for the house. This is the part you don't want to see, the price. So we've got three different, I six like this different, one. six different perspectives. You know, oh, it's all the same house? It's the same footprint. Okay. Right, so you've got A, B, C, D, E. It's all the same footprint, length and width. Just which roof lines do you like the best? Where do you like balconies? Where do you not like balconies? Okay. That kind of stuff. And uh, I kind of made a decision for you, but hopefully you choose the same one I did. <laughs> I probably will. Okay, which one? I like this one. You like this one? That was my choice. Good. 
Discussion, nice. discussion finished. <laughs> yeah, that one looks great. No, I really like this one. I like the multiple roof lines on it. I kind of like this one too with the roof coming towards us, but this one I think adds a lot of depth. But wait a minute, where's the porch? I thought we had an overhang on the porch. They can do a balcony off of this and they could do a balcony off of this. We can put this balcony on any window we want. Mm -hmm. This is the actual footprint of it. So it kind of zigzags in and out. Yeah, and of course you don't need railings there. And we're not gonna need railings yeah. on any of it. See how they also stopped the deck short mm -hmm. here and here leaving this space in between it. I said, just take it all the way across. Okay. I'm also thinking maybe bringing this deck all the way out into the sandbox of and course. then back around yeah, the side. Yeah, we want it into the sandbox because we want to be able to cantilever the deck. Yep. Good. So, so oh wait, what does it cost? Do you really want to know? Uh, since I'm paying for it, I do. <laughs> <laughs> they were at 98, gave you a huge discount, dropped it down to 88, and I think we can actually change some things by, like if we get rid of a balcony, if we get rid of railings, you know, you can see all the different siding mm -hmm. options. <laughs> Any chance we can get a bay window? We can do different windows. There's all kinds of things, but like when you say, can we get a bay window? The price goes that direction. <laughs> and what kind of, what is the siding? The siding right now is just very modern farmhouse look, you know, with oh, okay. the... I love the farmhouse. Yeah. All right, good job. All right, so I'm gonna go back to them. We'll uh, negotiate price a little further and we'll see if we can't get it down a little bit because uh, um, I also want to do some other stuff in there. We got to get trees and we got to yeah. do some other stuff. So Busy beavers. A lot, of, a lot more work, but. Go get them, buddy. They can start on this as soon as you say yes. I say yes as long as you get the price right. All right, okay. <laughs>